this is a pretty uh, serious breach of journalistic integrity. It's just, it's a fundamental, I don't even know, it's a, it's a lie. There's no highfalutin words to use, it, to use here. It's a lie. They reported that Dershowitz said something that he specifically did not say. Yeah, and I, I don't know why we all act surprised. This is just par for the course for the New York Times. But you're absolutely right. What Dershowitz was saying is that if a president does something and there are political motivations somehow behind it, you can't just impeach him for doing it. Now, every administration has political ambitions, has political thinking behind things. The most infamous example comes from 1994 when Susan Rice was on the National Security Council and Samantha Power, who would later become one of Obama Obama's uh, officials, she wrote that uh, Susan Rice actually questioned whether the Clinton administration taking action in Rwanda could hurt the midterm chances of Democrats. So that's like a far, far example. But politics are always involved in decision making, in presidential deci decision making and in administration policy to impeach a president for for basically trying to imply that he did something with impure motives. It's a really, really big slippery slope. It is in the context, I and mean, your example is is really good, something the Democrats, I think it would be who of them to listen to, but Dershowitz was talking about the context of his comment. He was talking about the three types of motives that a president can have uh, for actions that he takes. And this is what Dershowitz was saying. He said, the first type of motive is one that's purely, solely, only concerned with the national interest. The second one is uh, a motive which includes his own electoral interests. And the third one is, is one in which personal gain is his only motivation. So either only in the national interest, one that's in the national interest and in his political interest, or one that's only in his political interest. That's what he was talking about. And this is, this is why it comes down to, this is why I say the word lie when I'm talking about the New York Times, because there's no misunderstanding what Dershowitz is saying when you also understand the context of what he's saying. I understand that his phraseology, he put the modifier of, uh, th this is the words, if the president does something that he thinks will help him get elected in the public interest, that cannot be the kind of quid pro quo that results in impeachment. I understand that the phrase in the public interest maybe would have been clearer if he had put it first in the sentence, yeah. but no adult with reading comprehension and listening comprehension is going to misunderstand what he says unless they're trying to misunderstand, and they'd only try to misunderstand if they're trying to influence Republican senators to call witnesses and impeach the president. Oh, absolutely. And I remember in 2012 when Barack Obama ran on the slogan that bin Laden is dead and GM is alive. No one has tried to impeach Barack Obama for saying that the auto bailout had political motives or that killing Osama bin Laden was somehow a political act to help him get reelected. Presidents use their actions and, and their inactions in some cases to bolster their own campaigns, to bolster their election prospects and to go in after it and to try and say, oh, well, even though this was legal, even though you can argue that it's in the national interest, it could possibly help Donald Trump. Therefore, it's, it's a crime or it's impeachable. It's, it's ludicrous. Yeah. No one is making that argument. I mean, the Democrats aren't making that argument about the Obama administration with Operation Crossfire Hurricane. And that's a much bigger example of an administration weaponizing the DOJ to go after a political opponent. 